Uh, thank you, uh, Eric. You are the second winner. Uh, everyone, please give uh, Eric a round of applause. Just clap, put a thumbs up because Eric is so nice. He's sharing. He's also very nice. He told me that he want to. Uh, he he don't mind sharing and he wants to uh, hope his case study can benefit the community. So everyone, can you please give Eric a thumbs up? Please clap la, type clap la, type awesome la, type type something ah, uh, type type welcome as well. Okay, so okay, let's. Uh, Eric, thank you for giving me this opportunity. I'm very grateful not only for this session but for all the sharing. Every of your YouTube video, everyone in your Facebook, I think everybody is very grateful. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. Do you know about the one-to-one -one consultation that I charge ten thousand? Or you just know now? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I, I know, I know. Hey, you know? I know uh, yeah, I got friends. Uh, you know, uh, Shona. Oh. Hmm. Uh, yeah, they got uh, they got three already. Yeah, yeah, so that, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Oh, you are friends with them, ah? Yes, I know how much it's worth. That's why I'm very grateful. Thank you. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Let's let let's start. Okay, uh, maybe Eric, do you want to share your background? Okay, uh, I'm 42 this year. I'm married with uh, two kids. My wife is uh 41. We started our investment or property journey. Uh, when we were when I was 32, actually 10 years ago, 2010, this is like the 2020 is a 10 years milestone. Uh, when we started, we, we don't know what we don't know. We we paid tuition fee, right? So the first property we we bought uh, was a resale PC in Yishun. We actually didn't wanted to buy that, but uh, back then the HDB there was this cash flow that was very high. There's this HDB at uh, Yishun. Like 50,000 um, cash over valuation. So I, I told my wife, it's, it's Xiao. Bohua it, la. Somewhere else. Not worth it. Yeah, Bohua. So, yeah, so we found a resale EC and uh, uh, condition is good. So we, we didn't really even do any venue. I think we only just painted the, the unit. Yeah, so that's how we started. And then after that, uh, three years later, 2013, we actually saw it. We wanted to, to you know, there were people telling us the couple, and then we met some good agents, some not so good agents. So one of them actually tell us, hey, uh, there's this new launch at Paileva. Uh, I think it's Kensington Square. E. We actually went there. Yeah, we get yeah, it. But that time was, was not like, wasn't like that. So okay, wait, wait, wait. We stopped there. What, why you don't like? Okay, because, okay, first and foremost, not so much the property, but the whole thing was uh, uh, turned the other way. That, like what you mentioned just now, we sell first before we buy. So that agent servicing us say, hey, come guys, let's, let's go, let's go and bid ballot for this. So we ballot, we got number two in the queue. So everybody, wow, oh, so happy. That we also so happy. But after that, we cry. Because then we realized, hey, now we sell already, or rather we buy already, we need to, we need to sell because we think, I think, or whatever we have to let go that property and and that agent came to us with ridiculous price he said in Bobiena you know now you have to you already pay that that new sale you better let go this so long story short is we eventually, eventually gave up although we have signed and uh, I think that was a $10,000 over penalty oh you forfeited the, the, the 1.25% 1, 1. now yeah so it up to be about ten ten over thousand dollars. So I I told my wife uh, we we, we frame it as a uh, this is a tell she pay on and I know you then I would rather pay you that money. Thank you, you, you can always pay me. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay. Uh okay, th thank you. Uh okay, hey, so actually then what do you want to achieve? Okay, so uh my current portfolio later you see is um uh, okay I I'm 42 this year, I hope before 55 years old, I can triple or quadruple my current asset. Uh, then, of course, I want to stay in a landed property uh, with a swimming pool, like yours. You have already, ma? I, I, I love to see. No, I thought you have already. Yeah. No, the one your background have already, ma? <laughs> this one is a, this one is a more of an attraction. Man. This house is nicer than mine, man. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So you want a landed, okay? Continue? Yes. Anything else yeah, you so want to achieve? Uh, yeah, that's, that's uh, essentially in terms of the goals, in terms of the uh, property and, and asset accumulation. Okay, good. Okay, so uh, next question, what's your best investment uh, to date? Oh, the best investment is the one currently I have. Uh, today, I, I own two properties, one uh, under my wife's name, one under my name. Uh, both are private property. The best investment so far on paper is the, is the property, investment property at Bishan. 
Wow, everyone, he has two properties already. Eh. Can you please, uh, please thumbs up lah? Because usually in my life, I would ask people to clap. So uh, I want to use to being like online. So everyone, please give a thumbs up. Please clap. Please, please. Uh, so he has received two private properties. So when, how, at which age you achieve two private? Uh, 2014. 2014 means 6 years ago, which is about 30, 36 years old. By age? Uh, I'm 36 now. Okay, so Eric, are you a business owner? No, no. I, I work for a company. Then your wife? Eh? My wife also is working. Okay, I want to ask this because everyone, because a lot of people told me that, oh, must be that Eric, the name Eric one sure make sure, sure got a lot of money. So, even Eric, he's working also. So do, so never think that oh, only people who do business can achieve two private. Eric and the wife is also working and they achieve two private at 36. Eh? Okay, a quick one. Why? Do you, do you have anyone who influence you? Do you have any friends who also have two private? Uh, no, actually my, my investment journey is it's really just law of attraction no? Like one day I was Me and my wife will always pass by this place And say, hey, I think one day we'll stay this unit This, someone will say this, that And then eventually we, we, we got that Our intention was never to Oh, let's go buy, buy property In fact, what we hear is always to Buy the HDB la Oh, the, you know uh, The old traditional Uyu in Chakiku kind of hey, HDB la is safe la, and, and so on uh, So, so no the, the, the journey was like Just we chance upon one after another uh, but now we're ready to take it to the next level. Okay, next question. Your parents, private owners, private property owners? No. Uh, wife? Uh, wife, your in law? HDB. Siblings? Sorry. No, your, 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 your. Uh, all, all, all HDB. All HDB. All HDB. Well, then you are the very exception case whereby you have two private because usually it's either the parents got private the siblings got private they mix with friends who has private that's why they they, they are inspired to have private but for Eric your case wow you are amazing man that means and, and somehow you achieve two, 30, 2 at 36 eh? hey, everyone really must give him thumbs up uh. I don't, uh, see your thumbs uh, thumbs up uh, please clap for him uh. clap until I can hear my, my, my parents was like hey, you, you should not buy condo so after we got a person that was and then when we got our second one said hey, you sure you want really want to go again hey but 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 you they never like shock that hey wow actually you are doing well you also make you, did you tell them that you got make money now so that they can change their mindset also yes yes but they always have this this mindset hey, you are you sure you want to go now so now even if I tell them you want to sell and I want to buy another if you sure <laughs> I I put your plus so so it didn't go in. Okay, but I uh, but I have seen your portfolio uh, a quick uh, uh, a good one, but um, still still a lot of rooms for improvement nah. Okay, yeah, okay. Last one. What's your worst investment nah? Worst investment is that that one at Kensington nah. Oh yeah yeah. yeah. Okay, everyone, yeah, come back to the Kensington one. Uh, again, there are good agents. There are the not so good one. But again. Uh, cannot blame the agent spot because maybe the the agent is new, so we give the benefit of doubts lah. But uh, again, there are good agents out there. So for those uh, agents who are looking here, I just want to share with you. They are uh, these are all their hard earned money. So do your best to give them value. Uh, okay, and okay, quick one. Why not Kensington Park? Kensington Square. Sorry, it's Kensington Square, right? Uh, yes, Kensington okay. Square. Why? Why I don't like I. There's something that I don't like. Come, come, guess, guess, guess. Since you make a mistake, but it's too far, it's, it's too far from the MRT. The MRT. Correct. Yes. That, yeah. but too the, far from the MRT, and then uh, it's 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 low rise, and uh, okay, I, I think the uh, with the new master plan, which you know by Levi, I thought gonna be okay. I think maybe that's one positive. Uh. That one is out of that one that 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 what airport one is out of my radar. You know why? Yes. That's eh. one very long later eh. Eh, but everyone, I think because Eric has already bought two private, he has already owned two. Can you see that the things that he shared is something aligned with what what I, what what is my thoughts eh? Uh, so number one, he's very correct. Number one, it's not near MRT. For people tell me it's near, that's bullshit for sure. Number two, uh, he say something like it's low rise. Eric, you have the same mindset as me. I don't like the kate kate one. Eh. I don't like low low one. I like tall tall, gao gao, thick. Like so so, like we, 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 like we,
I like tall tall. I don't like gatte gatte one. Okay, and the, actually one of the things that the main thing that put me off Kensington Square is it's a mixed development. Hello, yeah, downstairs is shops, ma, right? Yeah. Uh, I I I don't I don't really like one. Uh, and plus, if I'm not wrong, is Kensington Square managed? Is it a managed the the shops downstairs? Is it for sale? Uh, yes, for sale. Ah, I don't buy this kind of property. I like managed type of property. So like downstairs, those like not is for sale one. Those are called non managed property. Non managed property means anyone can buy the shops and what I I'm scared of the tenant next tenant are uh, come in as ma- ma- massage la uh, money lender la a bit sleazy la not nice la. So I like those mixed development with managed one. So everyone, I want you to type manage. Uh, like what? Poise. Poise the poise downstairs, that one is managed. Uh Jurong Point, uh, which is b- below centuries, managed. Uh Katong Regency, below is your one one KM more. They changed to Kinex are uh, the name. Uh, I like managed type. So if it's Ion. Uh, I I don't uh, uh, that one is Orchard Residences. Okay, anyway. So I don't like non-managed. So okay, never mind, let's move forward. Last one. Uh Eric, what's your dream house? Uh, Lender property, you have 4,000 square feet at least. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, quick, quick one. So everyone, uh, do you want to, do you, uh, 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 Eric, uh, I'm okay to share the assets that you show me, right? Yes. Okay, everyone, do you want to see, if you want to see, uh, just type show me now. I just type show me. It's Eric's uh, portfolio. Uh, again, I want to thank, thank him for sharing this. Okay, everyone can see, ah. Uh, Okay, uh, okay, Eric currently has a property for stay which is at Yochukang MRP. Correct? Yeah. Ah. Uh, but 800 meters. Okay, and the second property is a new launch that you bought like four years ago, I believe. Four, five years ago? No, oh, uh, seven years ago, 2013. Oh, and Skyview, ma, do they? Yeah. Okay, so everyone, you know where Skyview Skyview is the. Skyview is the one beside Pishan MRT la. So uh, uh, I, I, I didn't prepare this but I just want to show ev- Okay everyone can I show you what is happening to Pishan master plan before I move on to his portfolio If you want just type MP master plan uh, Type now MP Yeah so Skyview is this one? Is it this one? Yeah. This is Skyview one This is Sky Habitat one Okay, so guys, uh, this is the latest uh, master plan for 2019 in Pishan. Uh, if you look at the 2014 master plan, okay, g- give me a second because it's like a, 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 and it's a very amazing uh, change. Uh, do you see, just now here was like 4.2 and it's like all in, all in, all in, all in everywhere. Ma. Oh, everyone, can you see or not? Everyone, if you can see, type 2014. Everyone type now, 2014. So we have this plot which is what uh, Eric has bought in 2013 and he bought Skyview in 2013 and everyone is 2013 the highest point uh, there's a peak peak price ma. but did Eric make Eric also make did Eric bought anything in 2013 I also bought did I make I also make so don't need to time the market la. just make sure it's, it's at a good place so Eric you have a very good taste you bought Skyview Skyview is one of my very top list during in 2013 so he bought this and 4.9 we all know is a very iconic the triangle one by the designer is a designer of MBS called Sky Habitat I mean the project is called Sky Habitat So by right when you see there's a lot of orangey color it will be the future residential plots it can be HDB it can be private properties So what happened now from 2014 right now they have changed to filter eh, Wait ah I need to do this again uh, Now they changed to Ah, you see, everyone, do you see it changed to 4.2? Where and all these are you see subject to reti- uh, detailed planning whereby they still don't know what they're going to do. Uh. So it makes the place, uh, it makes the place like uh, what I call quad. Uh, why? Because it's good to stay in places that has blue components. So everyone type blue. Blue means shopping mall or offices. This, uh, this. These up and coming blue plots will enhance the current value of the surrounding properties. So I love blue. I love blue uh, especially. 
uh, which is more more uh, officers. So and plus, it makes Skyview and Sky Habitat that uh, uh, it gives value to the current two projects. So and the next upcoming launch, which is the available ones, I believe is the four point two. Hey Eric, uh, uh, this four point two ah, uh, now it's what? Uh, now I think it's a it's a school uh, but I think they they have plans to for BTO. Uh. Ah yeah, so so that's why you see ah uh, when you see like there's not much condo here ah, uh, it makes this place full of value. So uh so Pishan is so people who bought like Pishan they changed master plan color like what Eric has bought ah uh, sure make money lah. Uh, that's why my advice for you to keep you have a choice to keep the other place who have such uh who has such changes is the one that I shared which is in Saint, uh in Wangkok MRT which I shared in the last few video. Okay, so let's come back to. Uh, his portfolio. Okay, so Eric, well done. You have currently a current property for own stay. Sec, can I share? Can can you share which condo you 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 are staying now? Currently, is uh, staying at Castle Green. Okay, so uh, we all know that Castle Green is quite old, uh. So yes, yeah, so Eric, again, based on your portfolio, uh, uh, I have a formula which I told Lam just now. You shouldn't buy old la. You should buy young ma. So you see, you bought. I believe you have bought your uh, uh, castle green for stay for family value. But again, uh, to be to to make even more money, I hope that you can buy something newer that has capital appreciation. You see, you have bought castle green for such a long time, and I guess you don't make a lot of money compared to your investment property that you make faster than your own stay. Am I right? Yes. Okay. So my advice is, uh, currently, okay. May I ask? So the Castle Green is under your name? No, oh, under my wife's name. Oh, Castle Green is under your wife's name. Uh, your name will be the Sky View, lah. Yes. Okay. Um. Okay. Do you like your house? Yes. You you do you like do you see yourself uh staying there for another like ten years? Okay, I like my house. At the same time, I'm flexible and open. Hmm. Okay. My my advice is, uh, you do have more than enough to get a newer one with appreciation. Uh, I will. Is it okay? So because your which is under your spouse name, I hope that you can buy a newer one because that's that's how you can make more money from there. Uh, Castle Green, very cheap. Eh. So the appreciation. It's seven years. My advice, the next upside just like an MRT station. Which is the Lento MRP? Uh, try. Okay, uh, to me it's it's old lah. I like something newer, so I hope that you can buy something newer. If you like that area, uh, you can consider North East Line or Bishan a bit expensive lah. But it's not that you can't afford. But you have seen your track record that by keeping your castle green, waiting for the next upside of MRT, which is okay. You will make a bit lah. You definitely will make because there's upcoming MRT. But if you tell, if you told me just now, you want to make like a lot, a lot more money ah, you need to change this castle green and upgrade to a better one. Which I know you definitely can do it. So my advice is, you can discuss with your with your spouse, everyone, see whether do you want to plan to upgrade because this right now like COVID nineteen right now this is the best time for you to get a bargain for the deals. And for your spouse wise, ah, uh, and for you, for you. Since Skyview, you have made your first pot of gold. Like you have made, like I believe, I I see the last tr- last few transaction, they made about two hundred grand. Has two hundred plus, right? Yeah. Ah, so my advice, uh, if you do not okay, because the the master plan is nice, is good for people who are staying there. So I have members who stay in Pishan, and you see there's upside the blue color popping out. It's good for people who are staying there because staying you need a longer time. You will be there a longer time. So although master plan changes color. It doesn't mean that they change color next year. They will do it.、Eh. No, it's possible, but I don't think that fast, lah. Because once the color change, they may have a lot of plans. Then later, many years down the road, then they they, they may build something there. So because yours is sky view, you you have profited the first part of gold. My advice: if you do not want to wait, you do my method, lah. Like just now, just now the one I told them, I I told you can do your buy sell method. Like what you have done for your Skyview, you have made two hundred grand. You do it again, lah. Sell Skyview, buy a good one. Sell again, do a buy sell, buy sell, buy sell. While you stay, you can stay in a better place. So you can do it concurrently. If you have, if you think that you want to stay in your cent, your your 
Castle Green for a longer time, you stay there. Then you use your, then you get your, you get your spot. Hey, sorry, I always forgot that the sky view is under you. Okay, if you still like the place that you stay, you keep the Castle Green under your spouse until the MRT is up. Then you do the buy sell buy sell under your name. But if you want to be very aggressive like me, ah, I will buy sell buy sell both of them one. Eh. So even every time the property I buy, like either under my wife or under my name, I will buy sell buy sell buy sell buy sell. So before I buy, I really thought of selling already. So again, come back to your plan. You told me again in the next 10 years or in the uh, near future, before 55, which I heard you just now, you want to make as much of money as possible. So you should do the buy sell for both. Ah. Shouldn't keep too long for your sky view because we do not know when is the next thing happening in the and we won't know when will happen uh, the, the blue color one so uh, uh okay i remember your portfolio okay come any question for me first question come go ahead okay, so uh, currently i am uh, undergoing refinancing because my current uh, interest rate is, is very high so given what you have shared uh do you think i i should hold on uh, okay and anyway for the sky view project right um I spoke to one of the mortgage brokers, so he told me that EDS have this uh, uh, package that if I sell it, uh, there is no penalty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's, uh, it's, ter it's terminated, the loan is terminated because yeah. of sale. So uh, I think for that case, I should still post it, right? Hey, support me, eh. I also mortgage broker, ah. why you don't support me? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But, but anyway, I have another one. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, if, okay, uh, very good point that Eric has pointed out that he takes note not only on the interest but also the lock-in period whether when he sell do we need to put a pen do he need to pay penalty so everyone please put lock in because a lot of people like like many people not like eric they will say oh they just want to reduce the interest rate which is not the plan the main plan is he don't he want to reduce interest rate and yet he don't want to pay penalty when he sell this is more important than the interest rate because if you lock yourself and you want to sell you need to pay penalty then by waiting for another two years or three years to end on your locking period you'll waste two three years of your life ma. so eric if the dbs is offering the the the, the uh having a locking period and yet you do not need to pay penalty when if you if there's a sale ah uh, then go ahead uh, which is a good good one uh, which is a good one so you can do that for yourself uh but this is for which property uh, Ah, go go ahead, oh. or if you don't want to do, then you can start putting on the on the market, oh. Because the good news to everyone, not only to Eric, this year there are two, three good good project launches. When I say two or three, means when you buy, I have a lot of uh confidence that you can make money, but I can't share now because I do not know they haven't launched. It's haven't launched, so I do not know what's the price. I cannot tell you now. Wait, some silly people say, oh, Eric say what they buy. No, I, when they launch, I also need to see the price. I said, when I see it's okay, then, then it's uh, worthy to buy. So if you want to catch these good deals, you may ne need to let go your sky view this year. But again, uh, you may want to... Uh, so it depends on your, on your direction. If you want to still continue to keep your sky view, then you refi. If you plan to sell, then don't need to refi already. Huh? <laughs> okay, uh, okay, come. Uh, I have this question on, on this uh, selling right now. Mm. When you say now, what when is it now? Like like now, this uh, the COVID period uh, is a bias market. We you know selling everybody will be hard pressed. Mm. So what would be your suggestion? If, okay, my intention is really to sell Skyview. Oh okay. Uh, I do not know. Okay, my me me and you we are almost in the same uh, direction. I am also selling my penthouse. Same, likewise, as all the buyers. So for everyone who is looking at buying properties, look at us now as sellers. Eric is going to sell. I am another Eric who is going to sell. We have an expectation that if we sell now, we may not have the best price. So for people who are buying, that's why I say this is the best time for you to get a bargain. Okay, but for us, I will still continue to put on the market. So if so, Eric, if you plan to sell, just put on the market. We, can we? And don't try not to have the mindset that I uh, COVID people will buy low. It depends how low. If it's too low, don't sell lah. And not to forget, there's there's someone selling their HDB at one point two three million record price. There's someone buying a penthouse for twenty eight million. So come on, there's 
there's such bias so that's why don't because of this period i uh, don't want to try i think we should try lah because i tried so what is by trying same thing engage a good agent ask them to put on the market maybe got people buy eh? ah but get ready lah rather than i uh, don't do anything okay so uh so that this is my advice hey hi dennis Dennis Wee is watching. Hi, hello. Hi, how are you? Long time no see. Okay, so uh, Eric, come back to you. Put on the market. So engage an agent. Oh, yeah. yeah, put on the market. I also put my penthouse on the market. Then got see got people buy buy ah. Okay, but I have an expectation. Uh, pre- previously before the cooling measure, uh, I got a two million offer for my penthouse. But that was before cooling measure. So I thought that by refusing this check ah, the pr- is going up ma. Then in the end, when I reject the two million offer, then the schooling measure shit lah. But again, who knows? So that's why today I have this mindset. If I can sell my penthouse at 50k lower, and I can buy something at 300k better, what lah I will sell ah. So again, if you have anyone want to buy my penthouse, can lah. I I okay one. I know what I am going to do next. I have a bigger plan ma. So 50k, I lose 50 never mind lah. But I want to make three, four hundred in the next one. Then I will go for it. That's why everyone upgrade is a better choice. So come back to Eric. Uh, again. So if you want to sell your what sky view lah or whatever, I think you should put in the market. You never know that someone really what really uh, genuine. They want to come and buy for stay or they want to enjoy the future master plan that which I have shown. And it's for staying, which is good for them ah. It's good for people who are buying your sky view for stay. And it's also good for you to leave, leave this investment to go for a better area to invest, ma. So I think it's, I think you should decide, lah. I, if I were you, I will sell, lah. I will sell, lah. I will. Have actually, have actually been put on. It's just listed. I have an agent uh, helping me. Like, oh, good. Uh, uh, while the location is this is very good. There's this uh this challenge, uh, because it's opposite a place of uh, worship. Ah. Yeah. So so that's why our uh, location is definitely good. We 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 know where is it. Uh, but. That's viewing and uh, nine point five out of ten times, right? Is always talking about that. So uh, my agent has always been telling me that. But I, uh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think there's a, a bit of a few disadvantages. There's a few factors, but never mind. Just continue to go for it because we all know that you should make. You should make your 200 over grand maybe you want to give some discount up to you you want to lower your expectation a bit up to you because if you are looking at the bigger bigger picture you can make more ma. so i leave the decision to you and i'm very glad that you have made your you have made don't know a few pots of gold so come back to your homestay which is i am more i'm more concerned because uh, i'm the type of person who wants my participant or my friends to stay in a bigger and a newer place ah. and plus Based on your portfolio, you you definitely can buy something newer and nicer. And with I think the most important thing is with higher appreciation, because Castle Green the only upside is the upcoming MRT, which you may want to wait or you may want to capture other you may want to move now. So I know it's a big decision. You can decide on your uh, you can discuss with your family. Come any other questions? The second one or the third one? Okay. Uh, what about? Uh, industrial property or commercial uh, property. Uh, I I hear from or I learn from your video that you know your uh, your perspective of industrial property that is always appreciated. But I also saw that in your portfolio you have bought uh, industrial property, a big unity center, a uh, big area. So uh, should I also at the same time uh, consider? Uh, I mean, now that we have one one, whether it will change again, mm. one where mm. uh, should we also look into that? Uh, yeah, for your updates, I have three industrial, I have sold everything already. <laughs> yeah, which, uh, this update, I have three industrial, I have sold everything already. I still left with my five or six commercial office. So, uh, and I make most of my money, I mean, besides residential, residential is the best buy. Uh, let's don't talk about residential because everyone can only own one. So after we have maximized like Eric, your like your like like this Eric and me the same, the wife has one, the husband got one. Then the next one, if you have spare funds, uh go for co- explore commercial offices. That's the lowest entry for commercial commercial properties that you can enter and make money. So com- explore commercial office. Quantum is definitely higher. Why? Everyone just a uh, quick learning. The highest asset class. A lot of people told me it's residential, it's totally wrong. So highest asset class is commercial property. 
So everyone type commercial C O M M for short lah. So highest asset class commercial. On who can buy commercial? Only big boys can buy commercial. So I want to act like big boys. That's why I buy commercial. Okay. So and when I say big boys, because uh commercial property being the highest asset class, the land cost, the land price, everything is much more expensive. That's why the per square feet is also very expensive. The quantum is also higher. Only big boys can afford, and usually both no both most of them who owns commercial properties, they are all business owners. And like Alibaba just bought half the building of Aksa building. Ah,、uh, big boys are、uh, only big boys can play. So my advice, uh, when big boys buy half a building, we buy a bit lah. Okay, so that's my that's my philosophy buying property. So uh, my advice, explore commercial offices. Ah.、Uh, And never ever buy shops. Everyone type shops ah S H O P S. No ah, cannot buy shops ah. Shops is the shittiest deal ever. I I I tell you how bad is shops. Shops is a type type of investment whereby you want to lose money, no one help you lose. Those are shops. Okay, what kind of shops I'm talking about? You know um, Madison Mall ah. You know, Mapperson Mall, the free home mall that inside got no shops one, <laughs> that no no tenant one. Ah,、uh, with the Windsor Hotel one lah. Last time the last up one that one. Ah,、uh, but anyway, is they they revamp into a mall. So uh, inside the mall got nothing one lah. So now you want to sell at a loss, no one help you lose. Same thing like the other case, New West ah, New West ah. 我不会 pronounce 啊 New West, New West, New New New. 在在一个 West West Coast there 的 So uh, the shops are for sale. Some of my, I knew some people bought, and they told me, "Eric, ah, I want to lose three hundred k. No one buy it." Yeah lah. So likewise, shops. No, 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 no. So everyone, no shops. Shops is the only type of property that you you lose. You want to lose, no one lose for you. Okay. So back to Eric. Uh, explore offices. Explore. That's the first level offices. Next level, shop houses. So, but shop houses is like, wow, that one really big big boys ah. So step by step. Uh, industrial. My point is, if you want to make money from industrial, can you make sure when you enter is super under value, super under value ah? Then you can buy. Never buy industrial because oh the cash flow is very good. Everyone, of course, cash flow good lah because industrial is the lowest asset class. So highest asset class commercial, second residential, lowest industrial. Why? Same thing when government launch commercial lands, damn expensive. Followed by resi, lowest class re,、uh, industrial. Why? Because it's the cheapest one. So when you talk about rental, you definitely the cash flow is small. But never look at cash flow because it's going depre. It make it's usually depreciation. So when you buy, you make sure you buy super under value. Then you buy. So if not, don't touch industrial. So Eric, you can. I I believe you have savings and you want to explore commercial. You can. But my advice is you. To focus more on your next better home, then the spare, then you explore commercial office. Uh, you have my blessings for commercial office. The rest of you cannot lah. I say can, then you do ah. Like Lam, we all know that he has savings. He he is a good saver. Can he explore commercial? Uh, yes, but should focus lah. So Eric, focus on your next new better home if you want. But if you still like your place, then you the next one is. Upgrade your sky view to another better new launch. Then you can do your commercial property. Okay. Okay. Come. Any last question? So okay. So you you talk about undervalue. How do we know or spot undervalue? <laughs> okay. I mean the mainstream mainstream one. Everybody also can find. Okay. Uh. How, how do you find? Okay. I, I, okay. First of all, everyone. Uh, undervalue property. A lot of people say, "I ah bushy one ah." There's no such thing as undervalue. Okay, everyone, uh, I have the same thoughts like you. It's like, "Sell one ah, undervalue. I won't be able to buy one ah." Why? Because I have learned something. You, most of you, you are not prepared. What is undervalue property? First, uh, you need to know the value. So for those people who have attended my class, I talk, I teach you how to be a valuer. I teach you the skills how you can value any type of property. So people who have came for my program, we have learned. To, you will learn how to、uh, calculate value on that property. Once you know the value, you will know what is under. You know what is over. 
Same likewise, valuers are also trained, they are professional, they know what is valuation. So as a valuer, but by profession, you will also know what is under and what is over value. So once you have identified that, oh, the value is here, and you know that this is the under value, what you should do? I will go out to all the agents, I will go and offer at that price. I will offer, offer, offer. So the game is always offering check. This is my style of buying properties. For the agents who have like serviced me before, I'm the, buy, I'm the type of buyer that I offer check one. And when I offer check, my loan is always approved before one. So, so if you like agents to find undervalued properties for you, first, you need to know what is the price that you're going to enter. Second, you must offer check. Third, your AIP must be done. So we do it step by step again. Number one, you must offer check. So everyone, type check, 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 check. Everyone, type check. This is how we buy. We offer check one. We don't talk one. Why? Because I don't know how to talk. So I offer check. Because check looks, it's very sincere. Ma. To all the agents uh, looking at this video, every all the agents say, every power, yes, I think we should educate all the buyers. Yes, you are right. Because even if I'm an agent, anyway, I'm not an agent. Even if I'm an agent, if the buyer tell me want to buy, 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 bloody hell, they never offer check. These are called useless buyers. These are not sincere ones. All people, we are all human beings, we like sincere people. So every time when I want to buy property, I'll do my own research first. I will not go and I will not waste everybody's time. I'll do my own research. And number one, gift check. Number two, before you give check, make sure your loan is ready, which is AIP. So everyone type AIP. This is the second one, AIP. Chala was the third one. Uh. <laughs> These two only. Uh. So number one, you know the value. Number two. I offer check. Why I dare to offer check? Because my loan is ready. So every time when I do this, some agents in hey, area, uh, you th there's this thing, a uh, new listing. You do you want to explore? Do you want to see? That? I go and see all. Oh. When I see that I offer, oh. that's how I always buy undervalued. It's always being ready. So everyone, if you see my video, many times I I will always ask you the same thing. Are you ready? Likewise, like Eric, how he bought his new launch Skyview and make two hundred over thousand now. He also offer check what? And when he offer check, his wife loan also ready ma. It's all about readiness oh. So every time you talk about oh there's no undervalue. Why? Because you are not ready. There are cases, there's always cases where there's no undervalue. Then don't buy lah. You are right now it's buyer's market ma. Then don't buy lah. That's why I try ma. So I always I try a lot. I do a lot of homework. That's why I make money ma. Fair ma. Every Eric also do a lot. That's why he make money. Ah. Same thing. Ma. So everyone, have you done work? Or have you done more work than us? If you have done more work than us, you should be richer than us. Ma. Same. So my, my very good advice to everyone. You want to buy another property? Want to make money? Please be. Please know what is value first. You don't know value, you can consider coming to my class. Next. I mean, this is a life lifelong skill. Eh. If you want to know the value of every property, you will definitely make money because no one can cheat you. Uh. If the agent say, oh, why my light gone? <laughs> uh, if the agent say, oh, this is fire, this is under value. But after calculating, Sigina, this one is normal market. No one will cheat you. Uh. Why? Because you are knowledgeable. You, you know what you are buying into. So that's why everyone is always a skill. And not everyone knows the skill. That's why you need to learn. Uh. So, the, so I'm very happy that Eric has made your to know how many pot of gold. So I hope that you can continue the journey. A any, any last good question for me before I end this and I answer their question? Come. Hey, uh, where is your... Everybody ask about your top 10. Uh, I ask top 3 10. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, everyone, maybe I should touch. Okay, how many of you want to know top 3? Type now, top 3. Top 3, come. Top 3. Because uh, I may... Uh, well, after you type top 3, I scared I will give you a very disappointing answer. Okay, everyone, uh, if you are very observant online, you know that I don't tell people where to buy. I never say this is good, you should buy there, you should enter this price. Why? Because previously, I did, I, I did such thing. Uh, people ask me, area where to buy? I told the person, the exact project, then he went to buy the wrong stack and lose money. You understand what I'm talking about? I told him the exact project. Bloody hell, it's a really super good tip. 
they bought the wrong stack. Example, there's this new launch, two bedroom, two bathroom, 1.25 million. I told him, hey, go and get lah. 1.25, still have. Went there, he bought 1.47 million. Then I asked him why. He say 1.25 gone away. <laughs> then, then I go and check. Still have wah, why you never buy 1.25? In the end, then I found out uh, the agent didn't didn't tell him there's this stack available. Only focus on other stacks. Uh, I do not know why lah, but I heard because I, I don't want to say it lah because I, I scared I scared there's a misunderstanding. So so there's this stack, but the agent never show him this stack. He show him another stack. Then in the end, the two bedroom become one point four seven rather than one point two million. Eh, one one point two five. One point two five million versus one point four seven million. You is two hundred twenty k difference. Eh. So every time I tell people, hey, this is the best to buy. Wow, they buy the wrong stack. Ah, wow, I, I, I will be very. I will feel very bad one. Eh. So I have a philosophy and I have my rule for those people who don't come for my life, life, life program. I can't tell you where to buy because I need to see you face to face. I need to see you face to face to see your risk level, to see what you are going for. Then I tell you, okay, you can go for this one, go for which stack. I will advise you from there. If not, you buy the wrong one, then tell me, man. So, but the good news to everyone, there are very good new launch this year. Whereby out of the 40, 50, only got three or two. So again, they haven't launched. So the tip here is they haven't launched. Why? I don't know the price they are selling. I know they I know they bought it low last last year. So based on the calculation, if you follow my video, based on the calculation, I know this year they will launch roughly how much. But again, it doesn't mean that they will sell low. It doesn't mean that developers buy low, they will sell low. Why? Put yourself as a business person, you can always sell at market value, ma, which is high. So there's a hope. So everyone, the good news to you, you can type, there's a hope that these two, three projects, they are selling low. And the good news, they are all near MRT. And I think you can make your 200 grand in three years. So Eric, sorry, I can't answer you that. But the good news to you, uh, I, you need to get prepared first. So always do it step by step. No point telling you what to buy. Then in the end, you're not ready. Eric, uh, I need to sell my sky view. So step by step, sell a sky view first. Then after which, once you want to buy and see what, then you ask me. Uh. Okay, get yourself ready first, uh, huh, guys. So thank you, Eric, for, for sharing. And I hope that I've answered your question. I have given you direction what you can do. So I wish you all the best. And we keep in touch. Yes, thank, you. thank you so much, Eric. Thank you for watching my video. Want to learn more about property investment? Remember to click the link below to subscribe to my channel. And see you guys.